was about five years old when I decided I wanted to be a nurse. We heated our house with um, wood. We were loading the wood into the back of um, a pickup truck. Um, it was cold. We had socks on our hands and my brother threw a log into the back of the truck and it flipped out and hit the back of my head. And my brother looked at the back of my um, head and told my mom that I needed to go to the hospital. I remember the Christmas tree in the emergency room. The bulbs were big and you could see your reflection. At the time, we didn't have a tree at our house. We um, didn't have the money to, um, to do that at that time. So my brother had shared that we wouldn't be getting Christmas presents that year because he didn't want me to be disappointed. So when the nurse came out to get me to take us back, I can still remember her perfume, the smell to this day. Her name was Barbara Hopper. She told me that I could touch the tree if I wanted and asked if we were ready for Christmas. And we shared with her that um, we weren't, you know, celebrating Christmas, we didn't have a tree. She was very caring. Um, she was nurturing. She stayed with me the whole time. Um, she talked to me about nurses being angels without wings. That Christmas um, was the first Christmas we had a Christmas tree with Christmas presents because we didn't have decorations or a Christmas tree. So on Christmas morning, Barbara Hopper and the other nurses in the emergency room presented um, to our house with the Christmas tree, presents, um, food, and um, a Mickey Mouse watch for me. It was wonderful, it was a, a, a big surprise. Um, it truly made me know that I wanted to be a nurse, um, to be one of the angels without wings. So when I graduated from nursing school, I went back to King's Daughters and Barbara Hopper, the nurse that took care of me in the emergency room that day, was the actual nurse that um, oriented me in the emergency room. Just a few years ago, Barb died she was about 82 years old, and um, she was, she truly was an angel on earth with, without wings, but she's got her wings now. We lost um, our only daughter. She was killed in a um, car accident. Um, a drunk driver hit her. So it, it put us on the other side of the fence. We weren't the ones delivering care, but we did receive it from everyone here at Parkview. It was a true Parkview family. They, they stepped up. Um, they actually closed my apartments and all of my staff came to Taylor's funeral. What being a nurse means to me is compassion. It also allows you to see things through different eyes. I love working at Parkview. I love helping patients. When you can follow a patient through from the beginning to the end, it's so rewarding. There's not anything more rewarding than seeing a patient come into us in their worst scenario, either they're having a heart attack or they're in the car wreck and for them to be discharged from this institution is um, there it's rewarding as anything.